Welcome to the majestic city of Dubrovnik, where centuries-old walls hold tales of a rich, tumultuous history. As we embark on our journey, our first stop is the ancient city walls of Dubrovnik. These formidable fortifications have stood the test of time, keeping the city safe for more than a thousand years. Constructed between the 12th and 17th centuries, the walls stretch around the city, spanning a distance of nearly two kilometers. Imagine the countless generations that have walked these walls, the countless stories that are etched into every stone. These walls are a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of the human spirit. They whisper tales of the city's past, stories of knights and kings, of war and peace, of prosperity and hardship. As we stroll along the ramparts, we're treated to breathtaking panoramic views of the city. Dubrovnik unfolds beneath us, a patchwork of terracotta rooftops interspersed with the verdant green of parks and the shimmering blue of the Adriatic Sea. From this vantage point, the city seems to exist out of time, a beautiful relic of a bygone era. The walls themselves are a marvel of medieval engineering, rising up to 25 meters in places, they are punctuated with fortresses, towers and casemates. The Mincita Tower, the highest point in the city, offers a commanding view of Dubrovnik and the surrounding seascape. But these walls are not just relics of the past. They continue to play a vital role in the life of the city, drawing visitors from around the world. They serve as a symbol of the city's enduring strength and resilience, a reminder of its rich and complex history. As we descend from the walls, we leave behind the echoes of the past. But our journey is far from over. As we step off the city walls, we step into a world of fantasy, where Dubrovnik takes on a new identity. For many, Dubrovnik rings a bell as King's Landing, the capital of the Seven Kingdoms in the acclaimed TV series Game of Thrones. This charming city, with its medieval architecture and cobblestone streets, has been the backdrop of some of the most iconic scenes in television history. In King's Landing, politics, power and intrigue intertwine, set against the backdrop of towering castles and sprawling cityscapes. And it's right here in Dubrovnik where these fictional tales came to life. As we meander through the city's narrow alleyways and wide plazas, it's easy to imagine the clatter of horse hooves, the rustle of silk gowns, and the murmur of secret conversations, just as they were depicted in the series. One cannot talk about Game of Thrones without mentioning the imposing Red Keep, which in reality is the majestic Fort Lovrionac. Perched on a 37-meter high cliff, this imposing structure has seen a fair share of royal drama and dragon fire, at least in the realm of TV fantasy. It's a sight to behold, standing tall and proud, a silent witness to the city's vibrant past and its brush with modern pop culture. A short stroll from the fort takes us to Pilegate, another iconic filming location. Remember the grand entrance to King's Landing? Yes, that's Pilegate. It's surreal to walk through the same archway where armies marched, royals paraded, and traitors were exiled. Next, we find ourselves on the Jesuit stairs, forever etched in the minds of fans as the infamous Walk of Shame staircase. It's impossible not to feel a chill run down your spine as you descend these steps, the echoes of shame, shame, shame still resonating in the air. But it's not just the grandeur of these landmarks that brought Game of Thrones to Dubrovnik. It's the city's authenticity, its living history that breathes life into every stone, every street, every corner. During filming, locals would often find themselves in the midst of the action, their daily lives intertwined with the production of this global phenomenon. And it's these very locals who now share their fascinating stories and anecdotes with us. From tales of chance encounters with the cast, to the transformation of their city into a fantastical world, their narratives add a unique, personal touch to our exploration. Did you know that the city's strict conservation rules meant that no permanent structures could be built for the series, or that the crew had to painstakingly recreate the city's distinctive red-tiled roofs using CGI to cover up modern antennas and satellite dishes? These are just some of the fun facts that make Dubrovnik's role in Game of Thrones even more remarkable. From the Red Keep to the Walk of Shame, Dubrovnik's streets have been immortalized in the world of Westeros. But now, let's dive into the city's natural allure. From its sun-kissed shores to its azure waters, Dubrovnik offers a perfect blend of history, fantasy, and breathtaking beauty waiting to be discovered. Beyond its walls and fantasy fame, 
Dubrovnik boasts a stunning coastline that beckons travelers to unwind and indulge. The city's shoreline is a tapestry of azure waters, golden sands, and hidden coves, offering a tranquil escape from the bustle of urban exploration. Let's start with the popular beaches. Banja Beach, the city's main public beach, is a hotspot for both locals and tourists. Its proximity to the old town and the breathtaking vistas of the city's walls and Lokram Island make it an irresistible spot for a quick dip or a leisurely sunbath. Speaking of Lokram Island, it's a verdant oasis, just a 15-minute ferry ride from the old town harbor. Its rocky beaches, botanical gardens, and a small saltwater lake known as the Dead Sea offer a unique blend of relaxation and exploration. Don't miss the opportunity to snap a picture with the island's friendly peacocks, who are more than used to posing for the camera. But perhaps you're seeking solitude and serenity away from the crowd. In that case, head to the La Pad Peninsula. Its numerous small beaches and hidden coves provide the perfect setting for a peaceful day under the Mediterranean sun. Remember to pack a picnic, your favorite book, and let the lapping waves be the only disturbance to your tranquility. For the adventure seekers among you, Dubrovnik's coastline offers a plethora of activities. From kayaking around the city walls to snorkeling in the clear waters, there's something for everyone. And if you're up for a hike, the trail leading up to Mount Seward promises panoramic views of the city and the Adriatic that are truly worth the effort. Dubrovnik's azure beauty extends beyond its historic walls into the realm of natural splendor. It invites you to dive into its clear waters, to lounge on its sun-kissed beaches, and to lose yourself in the rhythmic dance of the Mediterranean waves. Whether you're a history buff, a Game of Thrones enthusiast, or a nature lover, Dubrovnik holds a treasure for everyone. As our journey through Dubrovnik comes to a close, we hope you've enjoyed this blend of history, pop culture, and breathtaking scenery as much as we have. This city, with its medieval walls and azure waterfront, has been a delight to explore, from the cobblestone streets of the old town to the iconic locations that brought the world of Westeros to life. We started our journey walking the city walls, where we could take in panoramic views of Dubrovnik's skyline. The walls, an architectural marvel of the medieval era, not only offer a glimpse into the city's past, but also serve as a vantage point to appreciate its timeless beauty. Our adventure then took us through the streets of King's Landing, where we discovered the real-world counterparts of the Red Keep, the entrance to King's Landing, and the infamous Walk of Shame staircase. Each location held stories, not just from the annals of Dubrovnik's history, but also from the making of one of the most popular television series in recent years. And who could forget the serene beaches of Dubrovnik? From the popular Banjay Beach to the tranquil shores of Lokrum Island, each offered its own slice of paradise. Whether it was for a refreshing swim in the crystal clear waters or a leisurely sunbathing session, these beaches provided a perfect respite from our city exploration. But the true charm of Dubrovnik lies not just in its historic sites or natural beauty, but in the experiences it offers. We encourage you to explore Dubrovnik for yourself, to walk its streets, climb its walls, and immerse yourself in its culture. And when you do, we'd love to hear about your adventures. So, share your experiences, your favorite spots, and your unique stories. Let's make this a conversation, a shared journey of discovery. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more adventures. Until then, let Dubrovnik's sunset inspire your wanderlust.